Okay, welcome to the second day for this week. Um, as always, please pause the tape if you have not completed the warm up. Here we go. Number one, to win a game, a student must roll a five and then roll a number greater than four. What is the probability the student will win a game? Well, the first thing that we need to determine here is what's happening. Well, the student must roll a five and then roll a number greater than four. So we're talking about two events or rolling the dice twice. The first event, rolling a five, there are one, there is one five on a dice. So there is a one out of six chance of rolling a five. Then rolling a number greater than four. Well, there are two numbers out of six that are greater than four. So when we're talking about more than one event, it's a probability of the first event times the probability of the second event, which gives us two over 36. And if you had a calculator, you could simplify that to one over 18. Number two, this is really important going into today's lessons. We're gonna combine some stuff we did last week with what we did yesterday. It says simplify the following. The first thing we have to do here is distribute. So negative two times three X and negative two times negative four Y. If anyone made a mistake, this is most likely where it went. Negative two times three X is negative six X. Negative two times negative four Y is positive eight Y. The second piece here, we're distributing a negative two, negative two times two X and negative two times positive four Y. So after we distribute, we have this line right here, like terms, X's, Y's. So you'll see there's no signs floating around. I know exactly what I need to do with everything. Negative 6x minus 4x gives us negative 10x. 8y minus 8y is nothing. So we're left with negative 10x when we simplify this. Number three says draw a graph to represent the inequality n is less than negative 2. So here's what I know. Everything is based off of negative two and it also is going to be an open circle. Now numbers less than negative two are like negative 10, negative 100, negative 2,543, and all those numbers are to the left on the number line. Number four, the final problem, it says angle X and Y are opposite angles. Opposite angles or vertical angles are congruent. They are equal to each other which means when I draw this, that this 42 degree angle and this angle n minus 12 are equal to each other. So if I need to solve for that variable, that's my equation. This angle 42 is equal to this angle n minus 12. And this is so simple, it's just actually a one step equation. We'll add 12 to each side and we'll get n is the same as 54. And to check it, 54 minus 12 is indeed 42. Okay, today's lesson, we are going to be solving two-step equations using the distributive property. So on your own, go ahead and pause the tape now and distribute out those three examples.